Good day everyone and welcome back to another episode of Survival Chaos and this is the start of the second season of the Evil Kirin. Whether we win or whether we lose, we'll see. It could be a single episode of the Evil Kirin season 2 series because when we do, once we die, we are dead and that would be the end of the series. I'm doing this because people have voted for the uh, Evil Kirin of the Fluffy Kirin on the YouTube poll. So we're gonna have a lot of fun and we are gonna be playing with a specific challenge here because someone requests us to not buy any special units in the game. We will try to make work, but we are playing as evil carrier. So if we are going to be forced to buy special units, then we most certainly will. <laughs> evil carrier forever. Yeah, for apparently the YouTube messages Ah, uh, they are coming through now. It's just a Brino uh, for some reason. Not showing up with all of his mess messages. A bit weird. A bit weird. But we are doing great, Bebop. I hope you're doing excellent as well. So, alright. We can see our enemies here. Ooh, Naga. Ayakso, Firefly Fiend, and Saeed. What is this? Is that the tier for unit replacement? I've been told that one is utterly garbage. Ooh, the star run, the cowboy repicked into undead. That could be really difficult for us later on. The jump slam seems good though. On paper, yeah, not having harpoons. And no slow the, uh, with the frost arrows. Might be a bit annoying, but on paper with the jump slam and overpower. I'd say they seem uh, quite good. I will say, man. We are playing against some top tier race though with Renai and all that here. And Wild Hammer, definitely not weak at all either. Oh, it's kick blocked in Greece? Really? Why would that be so? Seems like we are winning this early lane fight. Yeah, we also got reduced hit points at the buildings. I hate that. I really hate having reduced hit points. But I guess some people are happy that we are streaming both to YouTube and Kip. We're not keeping the uh, live streams available on YouTube though. Because we are mainly using live streams to make video content. Yeah, hopefully we can capture this metal mine, get some good gold there. But it would be excellent if we can hurt one of these enemies early on. He's playing with the range unit uh, replacements. That's certainty. Not the types of what these stalkers are capable of. But we might be going for early tier 2 barracks, maybe even tier 3. Because I think once we are tier 2, we will be swimming in the gold. Our biggest enemy early on is obviously Drenai. Would have been incredible if we were fighting the Undead on one of these side names. <laughs> hey, the Master Mitchell. There are all the of the overlays working correctly. And once again, please let me know about the audio or the camera. If some things are a little bit off, then I can make changes real quickly, especially this early on in game. Interesting, interesting. I know Kick is being backed by Stake, I believe, and that's a gambling service. I do not know that myself, but they are banned in the Netherlands, so we cannot use that. But Kick is definitely available uh, to be streamed on in the Netherlands. And I'm happy it is. Because it made me already so much more than Twitch ever did. And we are playing with tier 4 units placement. I've never seen the Brutes before. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what they are capable of. And we have to be careful because this guy has kept a neutral building. If I was a wild hammer, I would probably focus the undead. But that does not mean he did not upgrade against me first. And I think he actually did that. He could also be attacking the undead aggressively. Oh boy, we're gonna be in a lot of pain here. Yeah, we might have attempts and less hit points at the barracks, but I'd rather not buy any units at the early game. Might have to hold out for a few waves there. 
Oh, that actually went tier 2 mid lane there. He's getting away with it as well. Interesting. How do we feel good? Perfect, perfect, perfect. <coughs> this next wave could be hurting us greatly, so we better be ready for the eruption. I like that. Oh my god, that guy's playing the Tetra Unit placement. With his stun, which is gonna be super annoying for us. Uh, I think we are fine. We might be taking one hit here. Oh, not even that. Oh yeah, he should be really strong early on. I'm upgrading that moment. It really wrecks my chance of upgrading early on. Stay, uh, being able to stay in control there. Insufficient goal. I'm Insufficient not the biggest fan when it comes to the Naga spells for the heroes, but they can actually sign us heroes, so they're strong. Let's just get them stunned. Try to be safe and sorry there. Then we will be spamming unit upgrowth. Ah, Not the dream start that we were hoping for. <laughs> yeah. 100 skills level 4 seems very good as well. So they, they should be fun. But friends, is probably one of the upgrades for the Naga to go for early on. Combined with the Triple Blades, I guess. I could be wrong, we do not have too much experience with the Naga. So yeah, even though people say, be Valkyrian, go crazy, slay them all. Don't ask the viewers what to do. But you guys generally are a little bit more knowledgeable with these new or reworked phrases. Should be having some fun in mid lane there. Let's get the acid glance up. This way we'll be fighting over here, right? Eh, I read enough. Finish. It would be too late. It's a free one and mage upgrade, so we're not gonna be winning this fight either. Only the middle lane's looking good, but that will change with the Renai being tier 2 over there. Jesus. And yeah, our chance was not, not to buy any special units. But beating up on that and the deny you uh, late game without special unit. I don't think that would be fun, especially if we're not controlling the battlefield here. We'll be coming out of the stun soon. Yeah, these Alec Knights, man, with that. All of those stuns, so annoying. So, so, so gloriously annoying. You know what? Kill those mages. Yeah, Naga is probably not too weak early on, but jeez. This is ugly. This next wave could be really annoying for us. Might have to buy one unit there. Yeah, the Wild Hammer really upgrade us against Nest Time. I wish he played against us against the Under because I think the Under is a way bigger threat for him later on. Who's in the lane already? Glorious. Let's get there free. I think if we can't keep up running here, we should be fine. I really hope there free will allow us to stay in control there. Keep building in our economy that way. And if anyone sends here, we can always count that with Illidan sooner or later. But with Illidan, we potentially have a good hero for not playing with the special units. Oh, he's playing with anti-happy. Oh, dear, dear. Yeah, that's really good information. Good surprise, he's still tier 1 mid lane, though. Considering he's playing with a early game bonus. I can't imagine the Undead getting an early hero mid lane. So it potentially could. Look at this, man. We He's already building up a little backline here. He's just killing me, and we are not even that far behind with upgrades. We stay two now. 
Lovely stuff. We should be able to come back at the top. Oh, can we actually win this? I think that would be glorious, but if he's building up stalkers with the anti strong units, then oh dearie. Oh my god. We're seriously lacking strength here to counter attack. We have a big backline, so let's hope that will work out. But we gotta be killing his front lines. Him having the increased attack rate. Definitely not helping us out either. Research. Let's get the tier 2 main, get the hour up. Be able to get the frenzy and the triple blades. If some of you guys would suggest any other bones here, then feel free to let me know. Yeah, we're losing this. Glorious. Strong asset is usually very good, but it is only effective for tier 3. Hybo Blood probably really good as well. You kill most of my mages here. Such a shame. Let's get this one up quickly. What kind of uh, arrow will we go for? Metal Drain? Yeah, I don't know. People just like us. Despite everything, I think we still had a red restart. Hopefully, we can capture the metal mine for the next stick. I don't think the frost arrow will stack up with the um, frost arrows. If anyone knows anything about that, then please tell me. The masonry. Sounds wonderful indeed. Let's get the frenzy up. Blades. Got extra, a few extra units there. The lane looking okay. Let's get one. Raise spine. Although we do not slow with the harpoons anymore. But this lane so good for the wild amp was, man. He's there free. Yeah, it could be a good moment for us to send a hero. Illidan would perform perfectly mid lane and he would be a great uh, counter to Akama. But he could be going deep for one of the lanes. Research. Not to convince that Lady Fush or Rest of Atissa would be a great choice. Except the buff from the Ara. Oh, that's good to know. Challenge me. Let's go Frost then. Let's stun them. Buy us some times. Yeah, I think this is the perfect moment to send Illidan. We should be in control of the middle lane. And it is the challenge once again not to send out a special unit in this battle. If it's gonna be painfully obvious that we cannot win without a special unit, then we will abandon the challenge. On skills, probably a good one. Let's keep generally upgrading our units first. Don't want to be losing any momentum in the middle lane here. We do not want to snowball this, but if this guy sends here now, we might be in trouble. Even with a level 6 Illidan or so. Against level 1 enemy hero. Okay, Frenzy, perfect. Triple blades. Oh my god, we try cool beast riders with this time. They are very scary. Very scary dude. Hey there, Mastansar. Good luck with the statistics. Research Let's go on, Mazery up. One high boom blood. Some extra regeneration. Look at that wave, man. Better be killing those mages. 
rather sooner than later of our woodguts. I think one of the skills first would be one of all. We better not be solving beyond that soon. It could be happening if we're unlucky. I'm gonna cry if it happens, man. It's all wave killing us. And then checking out to the undead. Please run back. This next wave should be coming in soon, I think. Yeah, oh my god, we're losing everyone. Why are we often so unlucky in this game? It's incredible. I'm not gonna get the reinforcements here at all. I think tier 4 would help us right now to save everything. At least he's not dead yet, so he's still gonna be disabling down that for a little while. Depending on them from getting some gold at least. At least we're getting some of these golden lanes still. Yeah, I know the beast riders can wreck your build as quickly. We've played with them once before. And it was incredible. That was incredible indeed. Let's summon them. Hopefully, that will be sufficient. Let's get more frost arrows in. No power perhaps as well. Now the tight center battle, we should be going for a hero here. Guys, I'm not gonna go down out too swiftly. You got the aerial units. If we can get tier 4, push through, get reinforced for Illidan, then that would be one ball. We get the pressure on the undead. We've been so unlucky with Illin getting separated from our army. Our mage is trying to be funny here. Yes, we're good there. Let's go. I love how Wolf is giving a lot of extra information in the stream. That's perfect. <laughs> they look so beautiful. <coughs> I love them. For a limbo, man. Spending buffs could be great against the Draenei. Might as well go tier 3 here, I think. Uh, let's give him a taste of a stun uh, from ourselves there. Yeah, he's building up the wave, yeah. And it's gonna be in trouble there. We will have slow incoming. Now we can see if the frost arrow and the frost arrows will stack up. Yeah, they do. Perfect. Then I know what my favorite arrow is gonna be for the Naga. I'm gonna be super annoying. But if we tip free everywhere, the crow spitting strong as it's gonna be a great option to us. Can he live long enough for us to from the I don't think he can. Hey those arrow units <coughs> with their six damage. They're truly disgusting. Let's get one strong as it up. Gen ship good here.
least whatever we send him next, he's gonna be a big pain in the ass. Throw spit and then probably tear free here. <coughs> it's amazing how long Illidan still survives here for a assassin. Very pain for the undead. And this could be a great move for us to send another hero down the middle lane. This is in 7 armor. Oh boy. We need him to be dead. Uh, you know what? We only live once. We might have a big army here, but so does a Grenai. I'm with 7 armor. He's not gonna die all too quickly. I think Illidan's not gonna live forever. He already transformed once. So I think the Undead will be coming in with a decent force before we can win this in the lane. But you never know. If it's a bit of bad luck, Lady Fush might be going all the way there against the Eat. Still one disabled, and then we got everything level 1, which is perfect. Definitely not getting up, is he? Hi, Mana. Very scary indeed. Let's not forget we can silence enemies and nuke them so that they cannot defend it. <laughs> oh, you got a nice job, Wolfie. Uh, I'm a bit afraid of Lady Fush being too deep here. But we'll see. Assets. Good to spell. I'd like you to see a new crack here. Maybe he's confident that he can take on Lady Bush. Well, ask me tier 4. I would see that as very ballsy. Maybe more slow and strong assets. Well, he's doing it. We will have to deny uh, reinforcements, but Lady Bush is not easily defeated. He can fend him late bush, of course. I think we might just be okay there. If we do lose it, then we can always get in the middle lane. Which... That's okay, I guess. Let's get a gross spit from level 2. But if we. Do not get reinforcements here. The Rupert might be taking over with Lady Fush just slowly dying to the deny. Hey, the Mississippi. Word as fight, that's for sure. 5 7. Usually, when I send in the wreck, he just charges enemy heroes and backlines head on. I was just casually chilling. The four units are the brutes, such as brutes. These uh, extra stun abilities. They look really nice. But silence enemies should be quite powerful against the Drenai. Probably want the high bone blood up against the Drenai as well. Did she get stunned? Uh, poison? Not yet. But kind of fun how the nice a stun bones unit, how the under that stun bones unit, and we have stun bones unit. This guy's just catching stalking. Yeah. Gen stuff might be a good answer. Wreck taking more damage than a bush generally is. My front lines are gone there. Both Inden and Late Vash are very scared to fight against when they're attacking your base. But I'm quite happy with them already leveling up. Oh. My mouse died. Oh my god, we had to buy X units because my mouse died over there. That's really annoying. 
Not the end of the game, but it did cost me 100 extra gold. Look at this. First Illidan, now Ladybug. My mouse keeps dying. Lovely. Probably took more damage than necessary. Yeah, so unlucky with this fight. It's gonna be one of those games. Yeah, hopefully we will see a Murlocs race from later. And a low dash low punch key. That's uh, not a USB board, it's just a mouse itself. She dies. It's expected. Let's get in there. Yeah, he might be getting poisoned, but I really want him to collect the experience from the Looper Rack. He can transform, so he's not the worst when it comes to dealing with poison. And he didn't get poisoned still. Is there a Tom in the house? Why would there be a Tom in the house? Maybe I'm too silly to understand. Maybe we want to go tier 4 here. Send Lady Vash. Get the pressure on him. Should be able to get a collect the love gold with in the middle lane. <laughs> Jerry. I understand Tom and Jerry, but. Ah, the mouse, yeah. I'm stuck. It's late, guys. It's late. <laughs> oh, nice little joke. Nice little joke. Yeah, Elden's very powerful. I can name a few heroes, being as annoying as he is. He's definitely not to be underestimated. Um, if he goes for hero, we might not have a hero directly against him. So that could be a challenge. Please don't tell me you are doing a fudge against me here. At least we have this nasty guy silenced. That's a lot of units, by the way. <coughs> I'm one lady bunch in front of the barracks. Especially thank the filthy dwarfs. Next wave we should have a tier 4 wave here. It's a lot of gold we still need, but we will be getting it by killing these filthy dwarfs anyway. And he's gonna be getting some brutes upon his face. Look at it and then. Save. Oh my god, he's losing to the undead? How is that even possible? 26 minutes of the game, we're now losing to the undead. You require a little bit of challenge for that, uh, talent for that. <laughs> He left the game. He went to three. Maybe we can win this game without special moves after all. We need to be careful there with tier 2 against tier 3. He had so many unit upgrades. We should have had enough gold for a hero for certain. There was no reason for him to lose that right back style unless he had a major miscalculation on his finances. Should be careful top though. I wouldn't mind keeping me Renal life a little bit long because he will still be giving me decent gold, but this army will not be weak. Uh, regardless of the AI taking over there or not. It then could be available for the top. Like I said, we will have to be careful. Because I honestly don't think Illidan is gonna be dead at the right moment. He's step four. Good to spell. Yeah, there's gonna be some serious battles going on between us and the undead. And with our um, damage and less hit points at the base, it's gonna be serious trouble for him potentially out nuking us. He's trying a little bit against Wildhammer, I guess. Sounds too late there, because he already used it to spell. 
Pull in. Yeah, it's great against heroes. But we do have big wave with tier 4 against tier 3. He has to be very careful. Pig made right choice to go tier 3 there. But will Illidan be dead at the right moments? And it's gonna be so close, but I don't think he will be. Let's just send the Gentis. I'm not take any hit here. Especially now with the under camp. Only focus in the middle lane or the bottom side. Hey, we would be wonderful. Yeah, Colin will certainly not survive this with the uh, 3 against my 4 and Rage Hero that's not capable of being redirected yet. Look at the Undead man. Good lord. How the hell are we supposed to win against the Undead without special units? There's no reason for the Brenai to die again, so the Gentis. Just step four. Late Bash is still very much alive. We could try the Doom spell. It tends to work well against the Undead. Let's just go tier 4 here. I was considering to go tier 3 shrine. But since we, once again, are not able to get a special now there. And this is not a AoE spell. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> Easy Bruce with the jump slam. Will help me fight the under there. He's a little low mana. Another level 1 hero. False that this time round could be enough since he's tier 4. False that can tank easy well. Because late versus level 17. I think he's gonna be fine. Yeah, the tier 3 units. With 3 times the damage. But siege damage. The tier 2 units have siege damage. Tier 4 have siege damage. The skeleton maulers have siege damage. So yeah, if the honor starts beating up your barracks. Especially with the demolition trade from the beast riders. Three times damage and poo -poo. you will die so quickly. I mean, it's entirely possible that's the reason why he lost right back so quickly. But he still should have been able to get a hero out there to defend himself. Let's throw them in lane. We got strong hero levels. But that's not gonna be enough to win the game. Oh my god, why do we get the first special in the game in our face? You would think the AI would be smart to send him against the undead. But nope. We get a full love of uh, the AI, even if it's a two spell. Then we will probably keep Illidan top. Left we'll solo against it all. Gent will not have easy time against Falstead, I can tell you that. Research Dear god. That's rather brutal. At least we can mana burn these filthy um, death knights. We're gonna be a mess pain man at the top. This wave will be funny over here, which is not good either. Out there, we killed this wave. Prefer it for adult Texas. Does that six eight units from Drive Night is gonna be a hands full for sure? We put some from the middle, totally fine here. Maybe we can get them. 
and defend the club for us. Yo, 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 level 10. My song echoes for I stand Eden is strong, but he will not enjoy this fight, I can tell you that. What? The Brack. Uh, hopefully we will not lose any repost because we could potentially get two hero kills there. Look at Stinky at all, man. Stinky at all. Really going for it. For I think we might be getting two hero kills here. <laughs> Can he it up? Can't be toxic enough against these guys. Always blame the Naga sticks. Yeah, frenzy triple blades should work. All things considering, Elden did this job. He's still alive, not for long though. And not a hero. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, and then stop taking damage, please. So I think we cannot send it against the undead. <laughs> oh, we might not get reinforcements, but imagine. Lady Fast casually killing three hours there. I think it's, it's gonna stop it by two. And the Kelsat will kill her. But she did a glorious job. Dog going down. Nothing on over here. Yeah, it's gonna be close, but he has enough of a wave there. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Lady Fast can still tank a little bit. And she is gonna be sniped down Kelsat. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That's so cute, that's so cute. Lady Vash, the Undead Slayer. Spit. Let's get the Frenzy for another second. Not Frost Arrow. Let's get some extra spines in there. Yeah, you may fall now. That's the, definitely financially looking a really great blow to the Undead. And once again, the challenge was not to send out Shara. But it's also the evil Kirin here speaking, and. I think it's obvious that we cannot overrun the Unlet without a special mit. We should be losing a nu nuclear war against him. That was also the mess threat of the Wild Emma. So for the sake of better content, I think we will abandon the challenge here. Hello there, Gabriel! We are playing with the Sashtar groups. And they could be killing the Drenai Barracks there. Not at all. Should be defending right side, but she might also be going left side. If we are fortunate. Because he could be standing over here for a little while. At least he did transform. Especially against Machan might be great too. And yeah, maybe we should still try to do this challenge. <laughs> Are you serious? Seriously, man. What a joke.
The three heroes actually um, sticks. You know what? Like I said, these guys are too good just to not win with the special units. We are still making a massive risk here. But the AI could be killed. Right, okay. <clears throat> I was betting on getting some sweet gold there. Tell me sending our kid to us. This area would not be enough right now. Just doing this job of tanking. That's also not really what we want. Good enough. My heroes ignoring his heroes. It's actually a bit scary, that's why I'm sending the extra unit air units, the brutes. Let's have something capable of tanking these guys. It's actually gonna be super annoying to him again, I hope. What the hell, though? Yeah, I think we will still lose uh, this title guard. I hate the redirection sometimes. I really looking beyond that. We can get a share out there. And he has no hero. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another smite. I'd say that's really early. Nail before your queen. Keep pushing. Yeah, we might not have arrow at the bottom, but I'm happy we survived this, man. Easy could have lost the bears there with the level <sighs> three bonus units, the Freigul Beast Riders, and their annoying ability to deal three times the damage to the barracks. <coughs> it's a nine on your upgrade. Yeah, and it's not surprising we did slide pop behind there. Man. Imagine us getting another doll and triple heroes. What the undead get? Nothing from him. It did cost us tower, but it could have cost us so much more. I'm really happy that we decided to abandon our challenge, man. It was fun challenge, but definitely no way to win without special in this game. <laughs> oh my god, stop it please. This is becoming a pain. I'm 
Gent is not dying at the right moment here for us. And now does die. It's not the right time, my friend. Let's go in front of the barracks, please, with those filthy catapults hitting the barracks. They don't care to be redirected, apparently. Well, I'm not gonna be able to keep it up much longer, man. But we can, crucially, start to keep one, too. At least we've got rid of his backup. No wreck. Got that should be enough there. On the scales. Let's keep pushing. Well, that's not gonna get any reinforcements. And he should be staying in here again up against the under as well. So we should be able to get these towers raised. Not under the hero. What the hell man? That's so aggressive. Matter of fact, these heroes might not die for a little while. So he's safe with those heroes there. But we might have to start nuking this guy. Because the undead is unbeatable that game. Especially since he can't essentially keep smiting us forever with the soul rip. We can double nuke guy, but then this guy might be in really great shape. So maybe we will have to wait out for a little while longer. If we get to the five fortification, then we definitely have to um, <clears throat> throw in the smite here. Of course, he gets the free uh, two heroes because they will die before a doll dies. I was considering sending special in the top, in the top, because these heroes are not gonna leave there for a little while, but he will lose the force in the middle lane to defend there, so they're still gonna attack us. Get to spell here, I guess. One of them is very powerful, but this might be more than you can chew on. Yeah, that's the two spell you needed. So we could save the nook in there, and I think we have to. I don't think we have that much of a choice, really. Double area is probably gonna just be sufficient. Though I'm not gonna have too much fun top. Yeah, we're evil Kyrian. <coughs> Should be uh, merciless. Yes. <laughs> I think we nuked before we got left by. No, but this triple heroes. Despicable. Utterly despicable. Lachlan still going for us, really. And he's actually going for the barracks there. Disgusting. Doll probably gonna die at the hands of the undead. Of course, we've been unlucky with all of his heroes all game. Of course, the undead will get the special kill. Not the types in the better, but that was true or not, but. Yeah, 
Yeah, this uh, needs to finish quickly. I think we've got a kill. Yeah. <clears throat> Research finished. There we go. Pew. Goodbye. We should be careful because the um, water hammer can potentially back up us through the middle lane now. Of course, it's a new move when you die to it. Nail before your queen. I mean, he made himself prone to the nukes. If it was not good, he would have level 6 fortification already, be able to withstand double nuke. I mean, that's all on him. Don't be cocky because of your own mistakes. And if he's talking about new, new moves, he lost three heroes against Lady Bush before. <laughs> Oh, you might be destroying this. Yeah, you will. We can count second with Nuke if you want to. That's fine. But also, thanks for the lady. I'm dead. Raid him forever there. Yeah, that was unlucky that we couldn't really redirect those cat built before. This army was to the Tidal Guardian. It was also why I went for this masonry, but that's also why I really hate playing with the race with the temps and hit points on the buildings. But it's generally okay because I think about them, we will be feeling the under pressure. He's probably my friend of me right now. But I would not count on it with his <laughs> behavior. <sighs> but only a few hits there, and we can potentially look him down, so let's hope for that. And otherwise we can look here. It's not like we want special against the Undead anyway, since he's gonna be my friend on this lane. Yeah, he knows he's gotta be fair careful there. Don't tell me God's up, we'll be going top. Yeah, go bottom, man. Oh, you fool. Oh my god. Is this really happening? How the hell, man? Yo, 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 yo. No lucky hit here for us, I guess. That could be annoying, but I think we're generally safe there. But at the sense of arms together. Unbelievable. Oh, maybe shouldn't nuke this. Okay, actually struggling a little bit. Get the Sierra. We will still probably use the. Um, what is it called? The split. Thank you, Sierra. Also way out, but I think okay, we'll win this. Okay, let's use it. Yeah, it did had that one coming. He's got to deal with the under there. I think we are generally safe in the middle lane because this guy will backstab me, but the under will always slightly back me up. We just have to look at our defense stop. 
And if it's gonna be a one against one between me and the undead, we might have the upper hand, not just because of the nuke. But essentially because we have the middle lane. We will need a few heroes to defend this big wave. So I think we are in really good shape here. But the Sheriff Top will probably see the smite. Although he could be going for Alkia. If he does, then Alkia will be getting the smite. So I'm not about ammo wave. This is gonna be. Oh, that's a really good split for the Firefly. Seems like the boss are strong enough to attack us. Uh, what can you expect with so many aerial units? Uh, he should be careful with the AVR. He probably is happy with the um, multi shot in the Star Wars. Definitely want the gentle bottom. I need fear middle lane, kills out already died that. The high tower is not looking too high right now. Yeah, it's mostly the arrow units that are a pain in the ass. You smite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a pro move. That was a pro move. He, I just should have smited him ages before. He had enough mana for that. Or well, not at all. And now he's getting a full level of gear. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yeah, a share here alone would suffer, even if they would suffer. But them together, they should be fine. I'd rather keep one hero available uh, in my base, I guess. Let's get the triple blades up. Another frenzy. He's gonna feel pressure there, he's gonna feel pressure here. He's gonna feel pressure there. <laughs> Maybe we should save up for Nuke here. When he didn't smite um, Aki, I kind of expect him to smite the Shara. Look at this man. We're still once again struggling with his creepy arrow units. Let's get Frenzy up. If this star will not be destroy, uh, destroyed, that is. But I do have some good heroes, so he can uh, actually manage this. But the middle lane is gonna be annoying for him, uh, especially since he will not have too many reinforcements. But the same hero from here will be enough. And then he needs to keep heroes for Sierra and Ogre as well. I do feel a little bit weaker than the Wild Hammer, but I'm strength. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. The two spell it seems a little bit on the early side. Oh, what a lovely brute. He's going for it. Look at that beauty. Probably want to fully focus on the bottom. A magic rune for the two spell. Uh, let's not forget we are always prone to a double nuke from this guy and he I think we only got one match point so far so we should be really careful <coughs> but if you manage to defend us with just a new rack which I find uh, slightly unlikely then he might be keeping three hero stuff it will not be ideal for us Yeah, I 
I think he's gonna be fine here, but he definitely took a good beating in the barracks. He cannot send a special down there for a little while. At least no Lich King come to our face. Although he might be coming because Alki is still alive when we attack him. And then Cashly chilling over there. Yeah, Red Nuts. Fully will suddenly attack us. It's gonna be hard for us to re redirect a. Um, a Shara. Yeah, Atus is coming to us. Oh, but look at the barracks. Still took a massive beating. I do approve that. Same about the Necropolis. Let's be very careful. Those heroes would attack us with the bear still standing. That's gonna be ugly. So hopefully, we will not sacrifice the Necropolis to get a big uh, attack on our face. We better be killing the bears first. Come on. These are dies, but he can potentially get a And he's sacrificing them. Oh my god. I think they will go in the lane. <laughs> At least one. Thank you. Sending a double over there. That's scary. Why that's fun uh, fun man over there? That's cheating. This is a uh, well done will protect me against Artus at the middle lane. Mm, he does have a catapult, so maybe he can get the shadow bottom. A look at this, Tidal Garden is... I'm be able to... Pinch the upgrade, I think. I am Azura! I was destined to rule! Destined to rule. Let's get his units in there, hopefully. These catapults are really killing me today. Let's not forget the catapult needs to be alive before uh, Pulsar dies, otherwise... The Sheriff is gonna go middle lane. Oh, thank you. Idiot. Come on, that you can do it! Bound him into oblivion with those beautiful beast riders. <laughs> That's what I do. Did the spell need it? I took a little bit of beating. Yeah, 10,000 gold is gonna be a lot though. The share will be a mess pain here. He, yeah, he kind of backs me, uh, stab me for a little while with Alki yet, so we are good there. He need, needs to be quite cautious here. We do not have the harpoon, so defending this should be easier for him. The one's gonna be annoying, especially if he steals my brutes. I don't like the spear from Ayakso. He could have left like this. That's a little alien did. But he's, he's showing some balls. He's showing some balls. We gotta respect that. Yeah. I don't mind that bit of pain. We don't spawn a good time for him though. Double roots. Great if Shadow could kill both, but I'm not counting on that, despite him not getting any reinforcements here whatsoever. What's up? Go for Shara. That's not what Ayaxa wants. He still has these horses here. He can still redirect Lachlan towards the uh, tower, but he's lacking uh, building health. Come on, brutes. Go for it. You beautiful boys. Yes! There we go. Oh, look at that. He got extra health here, so he, I think he was just on level 3 ABR. <laughs> look at him. It's really impressive. He's still standing with the barracks there. I don't think we would have been able to do it if we were in his shoes. A 
Only in the gem stop would be ideal. Oh, he still lost it. Four on that. Yeah, we might be seeing the area elemental death simulator. New. Look at that big chunk of bears up and some loss. Damn, so that's hit points and the demolish trade. Not a good combination. I think the while I'm gonna use the tattoo spell to the, for the nuke. Oh my god, he lost the mill barracks. That's lovely. And that might defend me there. And that's going down. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's GG. Let's these guys kill me. But we would mess up royally if we do. <laughs> yeah. Look, move, winning the game. <laughs> At least we know a good title for this game. <laughs> lovely, lovely battle. It was not an easy game, Sticks. We're just making it look uh, very easy. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs>